Hello and welcome back to the last spell. We're heading into the final stretch here. This is this is the final um, the final night. Whether I win or lose, it's the final night of Lakeburg. Back to hell. Stand your ground. Let's see what what we have to fight here. Oh, I was expecting like a frog monster. Well, these frames are not good. I thought only dead fishes slept in the lake. Are we meant to fight this? I wonder if I'd like put all of my forces near here. If we couldn't have done some in something interesting. Like, could we have nuked these the, these guys? Can, oh man, none of the catapults reach them. Oh, that one kind of does. Uh, I could dedicate Patrick to try and sh fighting the tail. I'm assuming we have to kill both. It might be one of those situations where like just killing the tail just removes a little bit of the uh, the stuff on the board. I'm going to have um, I'm actually going to have Tanic move over. Listen, you know, I didn't think we were going to make it anyway. I may as well try and commit to killing the boss because that's the only way we're going to get out of this, right? And actually, I'll have uh, Fleur come over here. Sorry, guys, you are abandoned officially. Okay, um, let's do a lightning scroll here. Just just to lessen the load a little bit for... Uh, well, I guess it's Uhtred, so, who, who, you know, he's he's probably fine. Oh, he doesn't even need to move over to do some, do some stuff to that. We have wormling eggs. I'm assuming these things are going to hatch into something horrible. Um... Let's do some snipe shots on the tail. That already seems like some nice damage. Um, that's going to be it for that. Let's we can do some long shots. Let's watch out. Oh, extra dodge. Not bad. I think just like hitting it as much as possible is is the way to go here if only i could do a leap why can't i do a leap oh i i that requires movement doesn't that suck the, the one thing you would hope that 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 move would be good for is that it gives you some extra movement fleur might be able to no never mind um, all right, well, Fleur can do some something, right? I guess. Not really. <laughs> uh, I, of course you're gonna miss twice. Good lord. All right, um, Lamas. Lamas, can, can, how are you doing? Okay? You doing okay, bud? Yeah? doing doing good i don't know um yeah we'll just like throw some fireballs try and kill some frogs uh and we'll cheer i if you can't tell my my morale is so low right now <laughs> I guess we could transfer for some extra damage. And I'm just going to move over in order to try and hit as much as possible. Oh, no line of sight. Okay, well, at least we can hit that thing. Nice. 
If we didn't kill anything, that means we can kill them on the second uh, throw. Nice. And we can probably kill this thing with our sword. Nice. And it, it explodes for some extra damage. Good stuff. Um. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to leave him. He's good. Really sucks that we can't do anything with these guys over here. Uhtred, though. Uhtred's got work to do. Uhtred's going to have to get to work. Yeah. Uhtred. Blood. Blood, blood. Um, there's still, there's a fairly chonky dude here. Why don't we go ahead and do an intimidating scream? We can do another one of those. May as well. And I want to kill this guy because I, I want to really get in here. And hopefully that does like much more poison damage. We want to, we want to maximize how much poison damage we can, we can do. Uh, who else? Tanic. Tanic still can't do anything. Fleur can't do anything. Lamas. Lamas can still do stuff. Let's have Lamas do something. There we go. Kill, kill one lad. Drink your, drink your health potion. Eat your vegetables. Um. Javian, can you do anything? Nope. No, not really. All right. Um, let's see what happens. Okay, so he can just, like, nuke. And the tail is just, like, coming in. <laughs> okay. That's fine. That's okay, too. That's good. That's okay. Actually, Uhtred just lo got nuked his entire armor, so that's a little bit scary. Okay, we have Wormlings. <laughs> oh god, this is hopeless. Oh, jeez. Alright, um... Let's... Let's continue trying to hit that tail and, and destroy it. Alright, we should be able to kill the tail on our own. I don't think I like using too many of these lightning scrolls. We don't really need to. Um, Alright, Tanic. Tanik can actually do some stuff right now. The problem is, is Tanik is a good... He's good for hitting things like mass things. Not so much for hitting like one or two things. You know, like like shutting down one thing. Um, but Fleur has isolation. If she can get over there, please don't miss again. Okay, if she missed again, I was going to be a little bit, a little bit annoyed. <laughs> um. I, I guess we just got to get over there and, and do some damage. Yeah, I mean, we can, we can hurt it at the very least. Power shotting it would have been really nice, but... But a rain of arrows is honestly not bad. Um, that's honestly a terrible rain of arrows. Cause I, I'm, you know what? I can move over. All right, there we go. All right, at least we can hit two things. I'll take two things. Let's um, I'm actually gonna have her buff herself. 
so that she can hit it a little bit harder. Nice. Um, let's use a charge. Uh, I guess I guess he can't. Uh, if he moves back, can he do it? Yes. Uh, and that's all. He should have used his um, strength potion. Wow, we did like nothing to it. Uh, uh man. Okay, Uhtred needs to move over a little bit. Do some damage. Okay, this is this is pretty good. Nice. Honestly, I think another one of those would be good. Um, he's got one movement left, so that means if I move forward, I have every opportunity to like take this guy's explosion on the on the chin, and I don't think I want to do that. So I'm gonna move backwards, kill these two lads, and then sort of Demacles this guy. I would like to kill that lad if I can. Um, Javian. Javian's actually got things pretty pretty easy going, considering. That doesn't mean he's well equipped. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. He'll probably kill at least one of those. Yeah, I did. So he doesn't get the full benefit of the magic missile. That's fine. Ah, uh, okay, at least it did kill him. Okay. All right, I think the Javian, if it can, this this trend continues over here, can take that this on pretty okay. Um, similarly, things are okay over here as well. Let's do like a fireball, kill both these frogs at once. We have these worms. I am a little bit worried about these worms. I won't lie. Uh, two hundred and thirty armor, seven hundred and twenty health, and they do some pretty. They have shadow bolt. Oh god, they have Shadow Bolt. Uh, okay, who's left? Javian. Javian has some stuff he can do. Let's just like throw out a couple of these. Nice. Um, everyone's gone. Oh god. Oh, this is bad. <sighs> Miss. Oh my god. Oh, they're in. They're in. Oh, Ultra Utrid is taking damage. You know things are bad if Utrid's taking damage. Now the question is, do I commit harder to killing the boss? Or do I back up and try and and try and alleviate some of this business? I think it's catapult time. It's not a bad ca catapult right there. Can we do better? I don't think we can. Um, let's just do that again. Try and do as much as we can with that. We can catapult the actual boss. Weird, does the tail take up four tiles? I guess it does. So we can actually hit the, the boss's tail twice here. Oh, of course, it's only hitting the armor. So let's, why don't we snipe it first? Uh, 
and then we'll catapult it again. I dude, listen, I'm, I'm just trying to do what I can. Maybe this is a mistake. Maybe it's the, the biggest mistake. <laughs> we might actually kill the tail, which is nice. Okay, let's um, get that isolation bonus. Maybe we can kill the tail with Fleur. As if it matters, you know? That's the tail just dead. She gets an action point from that as well. She can also hit the head. Um, let's uh, let's do some damage with um, Tanic first. This does two damage. What is the damage? Six seventy-one versus six oh nine. It's basically the same thing. Slightly more damage. Sure. And then we can do a charge. Uh, and then let's hit it as hard as we can. So I guess Rain of Arrows is like my high highest damaging spell. It, oh, we can power shot it like two times. Let's do that. And then we'll Rain of Arrows it. Ugh. Okay, we can't hit that other dude. I was like trying to, you know, finagle things a little bit. This is fine. Well, we've actually got the boss almost down to half health. Which is a good way to, you know, die. But uh, I am going to move um, Lamas over. I actually have to destroy this thing so I can get the most out of my movement. Actually, let's undo this because I can't even get there. So I may as well come here and then try and kill this thing. Okay. Um, and I, well, it sucks, but I'm going to keep him here so that he can, he can get the, uh, the extra armor bonus. Um, yeah, uh, Javian, Javian, Javian's got things actually really nice. I'm kind of thinking I might just back him up. Let's back him up while we fight stuff so that maybe he can um stop something from from killing the the spell oh that last that last one stopped us from getting the second uh six multi-hit nice um kill yes kill Nice. No, not kill. Kill? Cool. Everyone's used their, their stuff. Uh, this could be the end. It could be the end. The spell does not have very much health. In fact, it only has 12. I think that's the end. I, I think I, I, I messed up. If this thing goes straight for the spell, then uh, I'm done. What do you mean another tail? What do you mean another tail? Okay, so if there's another tail, I guess I should have gone just straight for the head. Okay, that's the end. That is actually the end. There's uh, like, I don't think there's any hope there. Yeah. I think I did pretty well, considering. The magic circle is destroyed. I mean, so here's the here's the controversial thing about this game. And, you know, the divisive thing, I should say, not controversial. Um, 
is like that is a that is a lot of game i just did to now have to redo like you just get booted out as far as i know and and now just do it again um and this is why i was kind of tempted to uh to grind in gildenberg a little bit before i did this because it's like dang like imagine getting all the way to the last boss and then losing um if i had dispersed my heroes a little bit better maybe i would have had a better chance if i'd gone and, and focused more on the head of the serpent rather than the tail i might have had a better chance maybe there's more than one serpent there's the, there's always that i i might it might be that uh i'm like it might have been a harpy situation where it's like yeah uh you had like two more heads to go in which case it's like yeah there's no hope at all so uh whatever did we do we have anything over here to do what are you a goddess don't lose thyself in such conundrums I am the mother and and the daughter. I am the light and the delight. Concentrate on achieving mighty deeds, and thou shalt be rewarded handsomely. Oh, we got so close. Okay. So yeah, uh, having to start a seven-hour campaign over from scratch feels bad. But, you know, like, this is this is the thing about meta progression, right? This is what people always tell me. Is that, yeah, but look at all the points you got. All the stuff you got to uh, improve your, your, you know, your start. Things are going to be... Wait, select an apocalypse before... Oh, just base difficulty, please. Um, you know, look at all the, the stuff you got. And so you should have a much easier time about it. And uh, I just like I, I'm always gonna have mixed feelings about meta progression. I I do like it in this game because at least in this game I feel like I have a chance. It doesn't feel like you need the meta progression in order to to succeed. But I don't know. This conversation is so boring. It's just so tedious. No one no one likes to hear it anymore. Um. So we're in deployment phase, and we only have one. Okay, we only have one place we have to defend. So I'm going to go ahead and do this first deployment phase and then also a production phase. And yeah, I mean, uh, I, I'm going to continue things. I I really like this game and I do want to see more of it. I don't want to just like let one failure dictate how the series goes. Oh, that was the wrong move. It's fine. Um, so yeah, I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep things going. Um, but it sucks. It does kind of suck. Uh, it's, it's a weird thing. Cause like, you know, how, what's the alternative? Like if I was, if I had more, if I had any say in how the game was developed, what would I, what would I do? How would I change things? I'm really not sure. Cause on one hand it's like, well, um, getting, getting to redo the campaign gives you a chance to change how you what what kind of decisions you make yeah but like i would have had that anyway right because like i could um i could just play a different campaign and have that right could i could make better choices on the third campaign rather than having to repeat the first campaign um Oh, this has quick shot or a multi shot. What is this? What does he have? What, what does Paloma have? Offhand crossbow. Oh, this is really cool. I think this is one of the things I, I really wanted to, to get. Um, so it's kind of a debatable thing. It's like, well, is it? What would you rather do? Would you rather have more game or would you rather repeat the same mission? I think most people are not going to want to repeat the same mission. It feels bad. Especially if the reason they're repeating the mission is because they lost. Um, and, you know, the thing is, there's such a, a weird nuance to this game and, like, how you optimize your turns that I'm not even sure, like, what I would have done better or differently. How I would have fought the boss differently, sure. 
but like you know I, I just don't know uh, I want to do a impaling bolt oh I can't do an impaling bolt all right let's back up um she doesn't have any room to move so let's go ahead I, I guess I shouldn't have brought all of these characters out here Oof. Uh, he's, she's actually really stuck in here. Okay, here we go. That's good. I'm, I'm getting a little bit, uh, cocky. Let's get her, let's back her up, actually, completely. Um, everyone's moved. It's over. There's just too many. Don't panic. Don't panic. I guess I wouldn't have mind having uh, getting that um, the omen that gives me more experience. Maybe we can get it. Maybe we can save up for that one. I do miss having the hammer. Having that stun chance is just so good. I know that like half the enemies in this freaking game have stun resistance. I'm not a huge fan of that because it's like what's the point of stun chance if so many enemies oh that's my friend oops that's the second time i've done that let's actually move her off here and that way maybe she has a better chance to do some better impale shots actually she's i see some good impale shots like here yeah nice uh, we can do an explosive bolt. Nice. We'll definitely do increased multi-hit there. Alright, let's use, make use of this hand crossbow. That's so nice. It's just like a little bit of extra passive damage and then uh, do a bit of cleanup. Nice. Um, okay. Everyone's gone. Oh, who, who hasn't gone? Paloma. All right. Paloma, kill this guy. That, that you, you failed me. You have failed me for the last time. That's not true. You have plenty of opportunities to fail me, actually. You know, I do think that one thing um, I will do better this time around is I, <laughs> I'm gonna build the wall better because I was I was uh, make like generating so much panic, just so much panic from that awful pl wall placement, and it sucks learning that because the problem is is that you can't really fix it once you've learned that. With like you can you can just destroy your wall, but you don't get that wall back like you don't get the materials back For destroying your wall. So it's just like yeah, I could destroy the wall I could just have like no wall at all but like, you know, uh, what then? <laughs> I could just also not have the resources. So do I generate the materials or sorry? Do I do I waste the materials building more wall? Or do I generate panic? Which one hurts me more? I think that's a, it's a little bit um, punishing to learn a lesson like that, you know? Uh, Paloma still has... I, I, this is. Pro I hope this is uh, okay to say. I, Paloma's name reminds me of um, me and my my cousin used to play a game called MLB. Was it MLB? Which one is baseball? Is it baseball? Major League Baseball? Yeah, MLB Slugfest, which is a great game. I I really am not a huge sports fan at all, but I love I loved MLB Slugfest because it was stupid. Um, like it was just like you had uh, you, you, you could you it was just baseball except that you could like beat up the referee or you know like 
um you know you could slide kick um into a into a base and like trip the guy and he would do a backflip you know like it was just dumb um i loved it it was fantastic and uh one of the things that was like really stuck in my mind as we were playing is when uh, you hit a home run occasionally you, you hear the guy say um adios senior pelotas and it was just like goodbye mr ball <laughs> I just thought that was really funny. Um, all right. Oh, is there one more? I guess I shouldn't have ended. Wait, who's got... Yeah, we haven't done anything with Carmen. Carmen San Diego. All right, there we go. That's the end of that, right? Who's left? Is there more enemies? Oh, there's one more over there. Whoops. I don't know why, I thought that he was just like an ornament. <laughs> there we go. So we generated zero panic. Wasn't that a nice feeling? That's such a nice feeling. Everyone leveled up. S rank. We. I haven't seen that in a while. We did generate like a nice chunk of essence. We have, uh, now you, really, uh, it's, it just feels so good only having to worry about one side. Um, I actually, I'm not going to worry too much about this because I, I would, ra I would really like to just save up for something meaningful than, uh, than anything else. Let's do our level ups. Um, accuracy isn't terrible. I think for... For um, a melee user, I wouldn't mind having armor, though. Physical damage, yeah. Stun chance would be good, too. Especially if we double down on hammer. And I do like hammer a lot. Oh, there we go. Extra stun chance with the hammer. It'll suck if I pivot them at all, but eh. Uh, wand and hand crossbow. Um, extra damage would be nice, but resistance is good. I don't think there's any reason not to do this. Reliability seems good. This is like, these are very kind of boring choices, but it is what it is. Every four enemies killed, plus one daily mana regen. Now that would be nice. Let's do that. I mean, we could do back protection. We all, I should always do back protection. Maybe we'll, 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 you know, mark it for now. Hold on, Carmen. Carmen doesn't have back protection, and Telenka? Is that Telenka? That also doesn't have back protection. But they do have armor is increased by 110% of the hero's daily health regen. So maybe we need to focus on daily health regen for them. Uh, okay, so Carmen. Let's level you up. Accuracy. That would be great. Accuracy is great. Especially for a crossbow. Skill range seems very good. Perks. Um, when applying poison, I don't think that they can apply, apply poison, so that's not useful. As long as the hero didn't move during the turn, plus 10% accuracy. Could be cool. Plus 10, plus one skill range as well. Yeah. Yeah, let's try that. That could be cool. It might, be, it might work well with the crossbow. Is it just me, or is the mist very far away? Did it, like, move inwards last time I did this, or is it, like, permanently moved outwards? I feel like it was just a lot closer to the wall. Let's get our knight reward. Ooh, oh. Yeah, extra momentum and dodge. It's actually, I mean, it's nice damage. It's a, a good book. Really, really decent book. Uh, I also like this longbow, but less reliability. These kind of suck, I'm not gonna lie. Honestly, I feel like the um, armor is the best, just like all round thing. Like, you know, I love, I like the book a lot and 114, 180 damage is decent with times nine propagation. You know what? I'm going to take the book with it in mind to give it to a, a different hero, not one that I currently have. 
Um, we're gonna build some structures. I'm gonna build uh, a house. We're gonna build a couple houses. Actually, I guess we can only afford the one house. Actually, better than building. A, yeah, like if I build any houses, I can't afford upgrading any houses. Better to upgrade the the houses we have. Um, there's no corpses worth doing anything with. I guess I didn't like dig up any of these ruins in the last game. Is that worth doing though? Um, we can't upgrade the the shop. Oh, right. We don't have enough money. We can't get a, another hero, unfortunately, because I need the inn. Offhand scepter. This seems cool. Oh, that shield is quite nice. I wish I could lock things. Um, I can't afford to build anything. So why don't we just focus on defenses for now? Um, could put a gate there. Actually, you know what? Let's repair. Because a little bit of damage was done and that's all we can afford to do. All right. Well, um, I think we have enough time. Wait, we have four workers to, to do something with. Why don't we destroy one of these or scavenge one of these large things? We could either do it. Actually, if we do it for gold, then we can put a little bit more money towards um, generating more workers. I don't think we need the materials right now. Oh, yeah, I, I, I didn't realize houses were only 30. I'll put them. Yeah, where do you put them? there now we have two more workers which we can generate some more money with having just even one more chunk of money would mean we can upgrade one of these so it, it pays for itself instantly and then we have two more workers <laughs> um let's destroy this for some materials And, uh, what, uh, what are we going to do with that? We could start building some ballistas now. Why don't we build a couple of ballistas here? It's not great because they're hampered, but if we, we can do two of them now. And actually, let's do three of them since we can afford it. <clears throat> and we just won't fill in that wall. <clears throat> uh, damage the target and surrounding tiles, but no friendly fire. Well, we could try a damage trap. They're they're actually kind of cheap, all things considered. And uh, now that we have some traps, we can look at maybe taking the trap rearm if someone if it's available for someone. Okay, uh, we have spent all our workers. We spent, we've done everything. Can't sleep, even if I could, if, even if I count them all. Um, so ideally we could, well, we could move her like here and do a really good Nah, actually, that's that's stupid. Um, let's maybe we'll just like shoot out some bolts against like these individuals. Blocker. We definitely want to get rid of blockers. Now we don't want to end our heroes' turns uh, near those traps because they will for sure hurt them. There's no question in my mind about that. Um, if we move over here, we should be able to do quite a lot to the, this back row. 
Nice. That's pretty good. All right. I mean, things are looking good. Uh, we have one more thing we can do. Uh, the heavy bolt. I don't know if she's moved yet. She might have... I, did I give her the, like, gives... Yeah, if she doesn't move, she gets more accuracy. So we'll keep her there for now. Uh, but in the meantime, we're going to move her... Uh, Talenka up. Good stun would be good. Nope, no stun. Well, doesn't that just suck? For me. Yeah, it does. It sucks. Uh, we have no more things we can do with her. Paloma can do one more spell. Just normal spell. We'll move her forward and then gotta remember to move her back so that she doesn't potentially get hit by that trap yeah things are going okay i mean it makes sense that they would right we're really we, we've got so many more resources now that it's uh, it would be ridiculous if we were if things looked bad you know Um, oh, we, we can't do that anymore. Oh, shoot. Okay. Carmen. Um, yeah, let's, let's hit us with a good old fire bolt there. That's not bad. And then just like do some, she would be good with some isolation. As long as she can't move that, uh, the impaling bolt is great, but it, it's going to only work forward unless she's like on the side and she can hit like a whole row um i don't think it makes sense for like i think it would make more sense for her to have isolation okay give us a good old magic missile not bad that's that's pretty good whoops not, not the do not hit the pile of corpses please all right uh, everyone's gone. There's our first trap, and that was actually really nice. Blisters are doing quite well right now. I think having more of them is just better. I, I, I Ideally, I'd like to have a whole wall of them, but the thing is, is like, you need stone walls. There's no question. You need stone walls. And so, like, that just raises the costs almost exponentially of uh, all of your ballistas. Okay, we'll do a bit of cleanup. I guess we could do a transfer. Transfer is always good because it, it does, it gives us a little bit of extra damage. Um, Carmen is, her positioning kind of sucks right now. Oh, we could do a explosive bolt. Right here is actually not bad. Yeah. Let's just clean up. Nice. Um, so can we tell which one? Oh, we can tell which traps have been used. So this one, they have two, two uses each. And they do 80 to 130 each. It's not awful. It's, it's pretty good. It's, I mean, like compared to the ballistas like if you can renew them i think that they're they're probably worth it all right i miss that passive poison damage so let's just uh take these guys out with a stomp maybe and we can kill this lad and then we'll come over here and uh, they're set up for the next round. Can we do a nice, nice impaling shot? We only get, well, it only uses one action point. So th it is actually worth using if we can use it. And then we can do a, a really good fireball bolt there. That was kind of really ideal. Hit that guy, hit that guy. 
yeah i this game i mean the game is like really fun even even you know oh yeah we have to do this again but i guess at the same token like you know oh we're not doing a new mission right that sucks um we're still playing the game right the game's still fun so what does it matter if we're doing like a new mission or doing the same mission again we're still doing you know playing more of the game so i guess i should have done that first but i didn't so sue me all right and i assume these traps get renewed oh that was perfect nice there we go done we are heroes this night everyone leveled up which is a good sign although Talenka's not really pulling her weight not her fault she's a melee and she needs better opportunities we generated another thousand essence okay so now here's our first night with uh two directions kind of think that Carmen could take on one side herself and then we put Paloma and um Talenka on on this side let's all level everyone up um uh, resistance reduction for Talenka interesting but uh, I'm gonna give her armor definitely want my tank to tank you know uh I'm oh does she have the poison uh she doesn't have the oh wait she has contamination allowing to apply contagion to the target uh it's not as good as the poison route so no nah. um i don't think i like any of these sure reliability is nice um harvester she could always she could probably do some extra mana but um coagulation i think we can give her some extra uh, health regen daily health regen would be good for her we'll take that and i have to like make a note for myself maybe in my little nerd book that uh she she needs a she needs health regen so now the crossbow user she needs to like not move she might actually be a good candidate for like poison and septic shock and stuff like that. Although if things are getting really close to her, then ah, that, that's actually an argument to give her those things, but I don't know. Potion throw. Potions now have a range of 15 tiles. Giving her extra dodge. Every two enemies hit, the next skill gets vision. Could be interesting. Damage is increased by 30% of the hero's current mana. Um, I, I really don't... I'm not a huge fan of a lot of this. Kind of want to go mana route, because the thing is that... I, it means I could use her more liberally, and then we could also go with um, potion throw. And the reason being... Um, we could go this route, because the thing is... If I give her more bag slots, then she could use more. She could use scrolls that uh, have a lot of mana use, and um, giving her extra damage with the mana is an interesting idea. Even though she doesn't, she doesn't really use spells. So why don't we start with overload? Uh, it's an interesting idea, and I'm I'm glad I have an opportunity to try it. Um, extra damage is interesting, but I honestly feel like giving her extra mana would be better. Because then, when I take this magic fuel, she'll gain 10%. So she'll get extra mana from this. I can't not, I'm sorry. Poison damage. Interesting idea, but I don't think I can make it work. She's not the one that benefits from health regen. Critical power is, is an interesting idea as well. None of these benefit from momentum, right? Inaccurate, armor piercing, nope. Let's re-roll these. Experience gained is interesting. Isolation. Isolation seems good for her. She's 
she's gonna need need that um okay so now paloma paloma is our wand user um giving her resistance isn't a terrible idea she could end up being our tank honestly it's not too late to pivot her to, to being a tank Let's give her isolation. Um, and I'm going to give her... Well, back protection is probably not good for her. Because she's a melee user, so she tends to be out in the open. Wait, no, she's not a melee user. What am I thinking? Yeah, no, the back protection is actually great for her. Okay. A knight reward. Let's get our knight reward. Helmet, block, move points. Could be good for our melee user. Ooh, what's this sledgehammer? Less accuracy. Has a AOE with stun chance. That's good. Has opportunism. Just a, a nice nuking skill. Uh, this has propagation. Interesting. You know what? Let's take this and we'll give it to our hammer user and the hammer user will become a sledgehammer user. And they still they still get to make use of their stun. Um, we're not in a position yet where building an inn is very feasible. Let's upgrade this house and that we'll have eight workers. Kind of want to just like destroy some shrines or uh, sorry scavenge some of these ruins We could do we could scavenge two ruins Yeah, that's not a bad idea We'll get some gold get some materials. Maybe I should get some uh, just like go for materials for now And um, we're gonna I am going to build some things. I, I want to build a scavenger's camp. I think if I build a scavenger's... Oh, we need a gold mine, right? We need to do gold mines. I think I'll just, like, split things up a bit. I kind of want to take something for mana because poor Paloma does not have enough mana right now. So, let's... We have a lot of materials right now. Why don't we go gold mine... And mana well. And that way Paloma gets a little bit more. We could have put some more money towards upgrading the well. It is what it is. Um, no point in upgrading the mine right now because we can't dedicate anyone to it anyway. So we have 50 left. Is there anything else we can build we could build another mana well not a bad idea actually let's build another mana well and that way we can give uh paloma a little bit more mana and you want to build these like they're they're necessary so building them early isn't isn't a terrible idea all right now defenses do we need to repair anything a little bit instantly repairs nothing to repair in this category oh i guess that just resets the traps now, I kind of like this idea of, like, just putting down a, a few ballistas right away. And then worrying about walls maybe later. And what I am going to do is uh, barricades are the only thing you can't upgrade. So I'm going to do some wooden walls over here. So that, that uh, hopefully stops that. That's so lame. Um, a little bit over here. If I could do one more ballista, I would be happy.
So I'll save enough to do one more ballista. How much do these cost? 15. So if I do one more, I'll have enough for one more ballista. I should do, actually, rather than do that, why don't we just set up some traps? Because I actually kind of like the traps. I think they're probably better early game than late game. But I don't mind that. You know, making the e the early game easier on us isn't a terrible idea. Yo, Talenka, why are you behind the mist? It feels to me like the mist is growing. There's no way he should be behind the mist right now, so that leads me to believe that the mist is growing. I don't know. I wish I had a bit more information on that. Okay, well, that's going to do it for this episode. I mean, we could buy some gear. Let's see. We'll sell some of our stuff. I'll see, save this shield. It might be I can give it to someone. Um, armored boots. Not terrible. Oh, we should... Oh, we can't afford a scroll. Okay. I'll buy the, I'll buy the boots. They're good for... Uh, we'll give them to Talenka. They have a little... They get a little bit more um, armor. Yeah, we'll, we'll call it there. Uh, if you're enjoying this series, definitely hit that like button and consider subscribing for more content like this. And uh, yeah, I mean, you can throw me your tips in, ch in the comments. Maybe maybe I'm missing something obvious, but like, you know, I think, I think I'm doing an okay job. I don't think that uh, it was like super doable under the circumstances. I think I made a, too many mistakes that cost us the long game uh, in our first attempt at Lakeburg. So I'm excited to do things a bit better this time. But yeah, hit the like button, consider subscribing if you're new to my content. I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.